Okay. We're gonna go to Quan 7 to a park by the Korean part of town, the nicer part of D7 since I didn't do it justice last time. So we'll be talking the whole way there. We'll go over a bunch of topics. We're gonna start with visa and travel. Then move on from there. Hopefully it doesn't rain. Yes, we're going the wrong way. That's such a short distance, it's okay. All right, let's go. It's been two weeks since the moto vlog in Saigon. Our last two motor vlogs were in Han Sun Island. I had to go to the ATM and pick up ride money in case I get pulled over. So hopefully we don't get rained on. Hopefully we at least get a half hour. I got my rain jacket, so no big deal if we do. But that means no more camera. So yeah, uh, everybody keeps asking me when they're gonna get back in from America specifically. If I was you, my target would be summer of 2021. I've said this so many times, but they're not even gonna open travel to Southeast Asia until October 25th. And that's with limited flights to and from Korea and Japan, and only for business members and medical staff. And most likely, this guy's gonna go. And most likely, they're gonna do very few flights. They're already saying it, like 100 people per week, maybe. And then travel isn't even on the board. Any country that hasn't contained the virus for 30 days or more isn't on the board. And that's not gonna be America for like a long time. So I know you guys wanna get here, but I'm just being realistic. I mean, you might be able to get somewhere else and, and get there, through there, through there, through there, through there, and kind of cheat. They're gonna just check passports, so I don't think that's gonna work either. I mean, we'll see, it could change, but I'm just giving you the update of where we're at now. As far as my channel update goes, a lot of you might be seeing these new videos that are IRL stream in the quality 720p. Make sure if you watch them, to set the quality to 720p, the highest quality, it's not that bad. I know it's not as crispy as what we're used to here, but it's it's. I'm, I'm trying some new stuff out. I'm streaming simultaneously on Twitch and YouTube. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want you guys to see on YouTube as well, because I know a lot of you aren't going to join Twitch. So I figured I could hit a broader target range by doing simultaneous streams on both. Somehow this park's only 50 minutes away. We are heading into rain. Let's just hope that it stays juicy for at least 20 minutes. That's my hope. The park's really nice. I've been there with Uncle Gerard before. But yeah, I think we covered the pizza thing. Uh, when you're gonna get here, when you can get out of here. They extended anyone here after March for another month till July. And now they're gonna keep doing that. So it's kind of a wacky law. It's really stupid. Why wouldn't they extend anyone that was here before March? I mean, what are we gonna do? Magically take a fucking flight home that doesn't exist? I have a few friends that have wasted thousands of dollars in canceled flights trying to get back because the flights just don't exist. So I, I don't understand fully why only people that have traveled that are after March 1st get their fucking visa away. I have to pay a shit ton to get my visa away my stamp redone because my stamp's way expired because I couldn't get a stamp because of COVID. So I mean, government's kind of wonky on that, guys. I'm not going to lie. I'm not, I'm not feeling that. It should be the same to anyone that's been here. Like, why are we having to spend all this extra shit and pay penalties on a stamp? It's a bit ridiculous. And it's so concluded and hard to get the real information. We've gone to the visa place, like the actual government visa place, like five times. Each time a different answer. First three times, oh, you're part of it too. You don't have to pay. Whoa, is this bus just going? Holy shit. That bus was gangster. So yeah, 
got? I mean, hella ridiculous. Each time a different answer. So we figured that all out. I'm good to go. My business will be done and set up after this next piece of extension. So we won't, shouldn't have to extend again. The stamp's taken care of now. But yeah, if you want to see the Twitch, the quality's a bit better on Twitch. So go to the Twitch. It's Fat and Broke Official. I live stream four to seven hours a day, pretty much daily. I've already built a pretty large fan base over there, three, 400 people. I think 400 by the time this will air. Jay Streezy hooked me up, so thanks Streezy if you're watching this one. So yeah, we're gonna go to Quan 7, and then I think after Quan 7, I'm gonna live stream, I'm gonna head back to Quan 1, because I'm worried it's gonna rain. And then head back to Quan 1, see if it rains or not, hook up all the IRL stream here, start streaming and go to Gringo's Tacos, take the Sony with me and vlog the same time I'm doing the live stream for a high quality YouTube video. I'm really excited about this Mexican joint, but a bunch of people have been building it up. So we'll check it out guys. Wow, the food smells really good in the air right now. The traffic's not that bad right now. I gotta say a big thank you to Jay and, and a lot of other top donators in the past few days. You guys really rock. You know, we're, we're going through a bit of a hard time with money right now because I had to spend a bunch on this visa. So, you know, you guys helped pay for the visa. Last night, one of you guys kindly paid for dinner. I mean, that, that really rocks. I can't be more thankful for that. Thank you for the Patreons. Thank you, son. I mean, thank you, top Patreons. We have a new top Patreon now. I mean, it's just, wow. Thank you, Mitch. Thank you all, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Scott, for continued support from day one. The original OG supporter. What in the fuck? But yeah, I just know, I know each one of you that have given, my, given me money. And wow, does it help. Even a dollar counts, so. Twitch family, if you're new to these uh, YouTube videos, welcome. Thank you for the support on Twitch. I hope you guys like the YouTube stuff. This is what motorbiking around in Saigon looks like, so. I'm on an MT-15 Yamaha 2019, 150cc, 17 horsepower, 18 foot-pounds of torque. It's a beast of a machine. The need for a fast bike here is zero, so. I would have saved up and bought like a 600 if I felt you could use it somewhere, but as you can see, where am I gonna go fast? You know, you know all a 600cc bike would get me here is in a motorcycle accident. I like that I got a not so fast bike. Didn't need the need for speed, so. There's a Duke, 250 Duke. Hopefully the camera's straight. Hopefully we got enough battery and hopefully we don't get rained on. Okay, yeah. It's this okay. I think we went the same way. There's a CBR 150. Which my bike is faster than. I've raced a few. But I mean, even the small sports guys' bikes will drive really fast. Not me. Not this guy. I don't want a broken arm or a broken foot or fucking road rash all on my body. I'll just take our time. We'll be in a high gear so we can hear me talk. It is gonna rain. We're driving into the rain. <laughs> so hopefully we get a half hour of footage. Maybe we can duck behind a tree or something when we get to the park. The park's really gorgeous. I've really got to explore D7 more, to be honest, to really give it a full handshake. I've only been here a handful of times. I know, I know this where we're going is where like a massive amount of the Koreans that live here besides for where I live. A lot of Koreans live where I live. Oh, here comes a rip roaring vehicle. And a pile of shit Honda. And whatever makes him happy, man. If he wants to rip around in a bike with no brakes, lean into every turn like he's Mario Andrade. More power to him. The problem with what you just
just saw there is just too much rocks. And, you know, I used to actually ride on a track all the time, so I'm not a professional rider. But when you do drag like that and start to really lean into a turn, you can hit a piece of gravel and your bike's instantly sideways and down. There's nothing you can do about it. Some old guy pushing, pushing to get around me. Just go around, old man. So that's, that's the danger you run into if it's not a clean track. You get a big piece of gravel and you go down. And at that rate of speed, at 30 miles per hour like that, that's not fun, trust me. You're not having a good next few months. Pretty, pretty cool looking here. I smell rain in the air. Rain. I wish it was a GoPro we had on, guys, because I could just ride around the rain. You know, it really sucks. Sony just hasn't redone their number one camera they've ever made all time in action sports that is literally still the premiere vlogger camera to this day. I'm gonna try out a new camera. It's only a hundred bucks. It, it's getting reviews as good as a GoPro. And it's got dual LCD screens. So we're gonna, we're gonna try that out once I have an extra hundred bucks. Wow, this kid's coming hard on his bike. I've seen a Subaru BRZ. I've seen a couple Genesis 2.0 turbo coupes. None manual though. I haven't seen too many manual cool sports cars. Oh, first drop of rain. Let's just try to get to where we're going and hope for the best. We can always just restart the moto vlogs. I can just take the camera off. I don't like running lights. I don't trust anybody with my life. Kind of a lot of cool apartment. Pro tip, tilt your phone in when you're at a stoplight. It's a lot harder for someone to try to grab it. Electronic store. Real narrow apartment. So that sign means bikes are good to turn right. That sign, if it was green, bikes good to turn left. But yeah, so you'll see a lot of IRL stream stuff on my YouTube. You, you don't have to watch it if you don't want to watch it. Just ignore it. Especially if you want high quality videos, because it's it's in 720p at like 20 or 30 frames per second. I'm gonna invest in proper IRL gear, so like a gimbal and stuff, so the quality will get better as money comes in. I can't say enough about how awesome YouTube was yesterday on the chats. I mean, you guys killed it on the super chats and on the PayPal donations. I was super impressed. Super impressed. Thanks, Lee. Trying to remember everybody that donated yesterday. We're gonna have a wet ride home once it does start raining. Or we'll try to wait out the rain. This taxi behind me is all gas, zero brakes. And he's in a motorbike lane. Oh, first drop of rain on my head. Second drop of rain on my head. Multiple drops of rain. Oh fuck. We're gonna have to get over. We gotta take the camera off for sure. We almost made it guys. So we'll be back shortly. Just let the rain happen. About five minutes later. Make sure I'm recording. Take it off. Thought I heard the noise, but come on, you gotta be serious. Okay. Really, about five minutes later, I found this place. We'll go down over here and check it out. Hopefully, we don't get yelled at by security guards. They like to yell at white people. 
They don't yell at Vietz as much, but yeah, they love to enforce rules on white people. So, back on our journey, guys. We're not to the park I wanted to go to, because I had to get rid of my phone. Hopefully we can get through this wonderful moto vlog that I've prepared for you today. Look at how they're all gas here guys. It, it almost cracks you up. The amount of all gas in Vietnam. Oof. A lady on her bike strolling with her straw hat. Loving life. Old lady coming by I was headed down here, right? I just didn't think this was very hairy. 7-Eleven, open, open 24-7. Lots of building is going on. I was gonna IRL in this district, but it looks like it's gonna rain all day. Yeah. I'd rather walk around in D1 and IRL so I can sit at places I know. A little bit of rain. Hopefully the lens is okay. Oh, this guy is taking shit up on me. We're gonna go slow so it doesn't whip up rain on the lens. And then we'll check the lens once we get to the park. First world vlogging problem.
park I was looking for. Stop. Mercedes? Okay, so that does signify money here. Why would Mercedes be chilling here? We'll check the lens and we'll head back home, guys. I'm starving. This guy's going to equally as slow as I am. Check the lens, make sure it's got no water. If you guys want to get, oh, this is for rent. If you guys want to give me a shout out on where to go in D7, like specific streets, why don't we do that? So I can go to like areas you think I think will be cool. Let's see. Lens is good, guys. We're good, YouTube fam. Lens is good. Pull the face mask down. I don't think I'm gonna get COVID on my motorbike. And seeing as there are no COVID here, and let's take this. Take me home. Take me down to the grass is green where the girls are pretty. I'm sure I fucked up those lyrics. What have I been watching? So what have I been watching on YouTube? Hmm. I've been watching a lot of Metal Jesus rocks. Like a video game guy. So a lot of you might not like that. I want to make sure I strap my helmet in. No point wearing a helmet, not strapped in. Right guys? Metal Jesus Rocks, Wonton Don's been putting out some pretty short, cool content. What else can we talk about? I've been watching a lot of Dre Street J Streezy uh, Twitch streams to kind of just learn. Some Andy Malinakis stuff when he was in Tokyo IRL streaming. Hopefully we don't like drive back to the rain. That's my my hope anyway. It's a big ass Mercedes dealer. Fuck. It's one of the biggest car dealers I've seen in all of Vietnam. Look at they even have like a overlay lot. So this must be a real one. BMW's over here. Yeah, there's, there's, you're not gonna have those things if there's not money. That's up for shizzy, my, my um, YouTube fam, fam, fam. There's an essential mall. I, I don't think I've ever been to this mall. What do they got there? Pasta Mania. That sure sounds catered to the white folk. Looks like a, we'll check out the mall sometime. H&M, Gip. Long tea, sushi. So yeah, I think we're in the nicer side now. If, if whoever wanted me to go to D7 wants to comment. I bet you that sushi is pricey as fudge. Looks like a big mall though. I wonder, does this mall have an arcade, YouTube? I like malls with arcades. I think we're driving back to the rain, so that's good, right? It wants to redirect. Harley Davidson. Oh wow, the Harley Davidson shop. The guy wanted me to go check. Well, now I know where it's at, bro. So I will come and check. I've got stuff to do today, or we would pop in there now. I can just have Winnie call too. Bike helmet on. Bike helmet is not going to be suffice in the motorcycle wreck. FYI. They're barely suffice on a bike wreck. They like shatter into pieces. Very much this looks catered towards American palettes, Western palettes. Sometimes you just need 
need an improvised U-turn, guys. What's this? Baby and kids. Toy City. Toys, toys, toys. Toys, toys, toys. What else do we got? I'm describing things as I see them. We got a karaoke bar. We got a wedding dress place. We're getting into more like Saigon Feely little sub city. With a nice little Mussolini Street. We got a pharmacy. We got looks like a street market. Huh. Okay. Another market to explore. Never been to that one. I should film over today. But we can come back. Now that I know there's markets here. Old lady just wants to turn. High schoolers. Sex shop. Man, these sex shops are everywhere. Oh, it wants me to take a right. It was wanting me to take a left, but I can take a right. I'm gonna take a right. No big deal. Apparently 
that Damaris is like one of the best. I want to try another location, maybe see if they cook it different or I don't know. I don't know what the fuck we're trying to play. We got 30 seconds. Excellent. So we just can cut ahead. Oh wait, we can't. Oh this girl. Don't go girl. Don't get rolled in by a semi. I've never seen someone sit to the right like that. Yeah, I'm not going in front of a bunch of semi. That's not in my books. That's what they want to do. That's okay with me because I'm not doing that. Now we can go. Once the semi stops, we need to go. Shout out what Quan you want to see next. I will let YouTube decide. YouTube decides where we go next Quan. Not happy at home. 
So if you want to see part two of that series, check it out. Check it out. Oh, it looks like it's going to rain hard. It does rain this time. It's going to rain fast and furious once it does. We might make it home. We're about six or seven minutes. It'll be close. Well, the first drops are pretty appearing. Maybe we won't catch any red lights. they just did was cause congestion traffic for motorbikes. Super nice of them, right? Not selfish in the slightest way. Not even a little bit. Oh gosh, did you guys really get in front of all those cars? Great job. Really good job, box truck. You're a pro driver. Teach me how to drive as shitty as you. Something. Please. Oh wow, it's so hard to get past you without driving like a total dude. Yeah. 
Graham, I think. Pretty sure. I bet you this guy lives at Ben Holmes too. A hundred bucks. That's a long come over. guys thanks for watching stay crispy stay frosty love you subscribe watch the twitch hit the patreon support all that really good stuff that all the youtubers said see you on the next